Welcome to Palestine! Settler violence is a crime! Those were pro-Palestinian students protesting a speech by Israeli UN Ambassador Danny Dannon at Columbia last year. What's up with Columbia University? There was the Mattress Girl scandal which tarnished a young man's reputation with bogus rape charges, millions of dollars spent on diversity initiatives, and now pro-Israel students are alleging discrimination on campus. Columbia's Students Supporting Israel chapter claims that the anti-Israel Jewish Voices for Peace, Students for Justice in Palestine, and another divestment group have monopolized the conversation on campus relating to the Israeli-Arab conflict and have systematically maligned, harassed, and silenced Zionist opinions. The group says, one individual's right to protest does not supersede another individual's right to lawfully assemble, speak, and listen. Students Supporting Israel cites pro-Palestinian students' disruption of Dan in speech. That didn't go on for long. I think they pretty quickly realized they were outnumbered. But the pro-Israel group also claimed they were targeted with anti-Israel and anti-Semitic slogans while attending an event, and that when they attended another pro-Palestinian event, six students were assigned to watch their group, ask them to stop filming, and ultimately ask them to leave when one girl wouldn't turn over her phone. Victor Muslin, head of Columbia's Alums for Campus Fairness Group, said, In general, the attitude of Columbia appears to be to stonewall and simply to ignore alumni. Right now, we are like flies hitting a glass window. But this doesn't seem like an isolated incident of wackiness at the Ivy League institution. In October, Columbia pledged to spend at least $100 million on diversifying its staff. This amount was in addition to the $85 million spent since 2005. And last summer, Columbia hosted 300 K-12 principals and teachers to learn about topics like whiteness and microaggressions. You know, a lot of guys use a hotness craziness scale to rate girls, saying the hotter they get, the crazier they get. With Ivy League institutions like Columbia, it seems like there's a similar correlation between craziness and prestige. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.